Coming up next, Arctic Cat. Introducing the rugged Arctic Cat Prowler utility vehicle. Who says work has to be so hard? Arctic Cat, more to go on. The Play Dirty Sales event is going on now. Visit your nearest Arctic Cat dealer today. So Dwight, if a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, isn't that, isn't that just a little bit like if you insult a religion on television, but you know they don't watch TV, it's okay? Exactly, and I'm, I'm all for it. You know, any time that you can uh, take someone's religion to sell a go-kart, go for it. <laughs> I'm looking for the Hasidic Jew riding a, a Harley Davidson ad that's coming up on a, uh, recently, yeah, I, I wondered. Uh, I wondered a lot about this ad. Uh, you know, the fact, the message of the ad, which seems to be that, you know, that technology is so seductive that you will give up your religious ideology at all costs to go in and build your barn. And not only that, you'll have a big gulp and have fun while you're doing it. Probably only one calorie because it's Mountain Dew. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, unbelievable that they would have the guts to to even attempt this. Uh, to take someone's religion and put it in the backdrop of, of this mini Bradley tank that I didn't really get an impression of what it did. Uh, and I think it's also interesting. It seems to be one of those ads where uh, you remember more about the ad because there are funny parts of this ad. It's you know undeniably funny. But you don't remember afterwards what the product was. Is, is, is who is this? Was it? Art, what was it? You know, what, was it, what were they selling? Was it a, a generator? So, uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Did you want to buy a cat? I was kind of frustrated by this ad for those reasons, and also, and I know that I'm going to have a hard time selling Rashini on this, but I'm going to try anyway. Um, there were no women in sight. If it really had been an Amish barn raising, there would have been women and children there, but that would invade the escapist masculine fantasy on offer here of white male privilege again, a display of white male privilege. It's just sort of frustrating. It's like, well, if you're a guy and you're tired of being told what to do by God and by your wife and by your boss and the responsibilities of an adult male, we're going to offer you a jackass moment. We're going to offer you a product that provides secular liberation. You can be a man among men. There's this appeal to the tribal and the male community and... You know, just, but what could be less rebellious, really, than to purchase an ATV and ride around? Work isn't what we saw in Monster. You know, work is, is not productive barn raising. It's joy riding. You just get to goof around. And I just, you know, they could just say, hey, ATVs are fun and you're a leisure time. The price point's fine. Why don't you buy this <laughs> and, and drive around? But no, it has to be bundled with all of this. No women, excessive. Well, is it, is it a rationalization that you're doing work? It's not just for fun. It's just, you have to. It's, dedu it's just deductible. Well, here's the thing. I think we as a society, men and women, have accepted there are a lot of male jackass moments, and it just happens. And so yeah. why don't we sell a product with it? Sure. But here's it's the effective. thing. To me, it's not even about men. It's human escapism. I mean, why are we so uh, focused and obsessed with the Amish? There's so many things that come up that are Amish, yep. you know, that are themes in movies and literature and commercials now. So is it that we as a society want to escape? And so here is this culture and religion that's so beautiful and intact and sure of itself. And so Offering they real satisfaction. Real peace, real harmony. Right. And so we'll let slam them, but really in slamming them in a way you're sort of putting them on a, on a pedestal. So. Well, also it's a product that clearly is pointed toward men are going to buy this. I, I don't think a lot of women are going to do that. And the female and equivalent is offering like a romance novel fantasy, an escapist fantasy of a different kind. I'd like to see that commercial. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> that would be the female mechanics that escape Maybe you should write the that. romance yeah. novel. Yeah. I thought it was funny, actually. Yeah. You know, Amish cats, Arctic cat, I don't know. Their idea <laughs> of being bad is using four wheelers to Wearing erect sunglasses. the barn. Wearing uh, sunglasses. That was, you know, that was funny. It's not I exactly it doing funny. drugs. No, it's not doing drugs. But the thing about it, I just didn't really get it. I mean, this is a pretty niche market here. I don't know how many of these things these guys are going to sell. But they got a target. I mean, it's you know, aimed at specific smaller cable networks. I'm sure it was something obscure that I was watching that I was able to Where are those guys going to keep these things, though? Well, under the uh, foliage. <laughs> Conceal it from their spouses. I would be surprised if there are lawsuits out of this. I mean, it's, uh, you know, ACLU comes up with something. I mean, it just, it was... So out there. I, I found humor in it, though. I don't know if that what says that 
about me. Well, if you... If you're not talking about religion, sex, or politics, you're not talking about much of anything at all anyway, yeah. right? So well, what it comes down to really is commodity consumption. That's what amazed me about the ad and the Mountain Dew ad was the lengths with, to which advertisers will go to convince us that the moment of commodity purchase is a moment of pleasure and liberation and adventure and relief. And when are we ever more captive than when we're making a purchase? We were talking about how True. important the Amish are. Not important, but how frequently referenced they are in pop culture. Mm -hmm. I, I believe there was an enormous transformation. The Amish were the butt of jokes essentially my whole life until last October when there was the shooting in Pennsylvania yes. where, where one Amish um, man came in and shot 10 little girls between the ages of 6 and 13. Five of them died and I think America was stunned to see the Amish get together and one of them came on CNN and said we must not think of this man as evil. They and welcome so, so, they, right? <clears throat> so embodied forgiveness and I, I, it was just it was absolutely moving. Well, it wait, shows wait. you the liberation that can happen when the Amish get a go-kart. Yeah. They become very forgiving. <laughs> Time for our exit question. Pair a religion and a product. Christina. Catholics and condoms. Roshini. Catholics and Irish whiskey. <laughs> John. Uh, Hinduism and the Big Mac. Okay. <laughs> Quite. Ted Haggard and buycurious.com. <laughs> Quakers and Oats. 